They're so big. It's so stupid. Oh, man. It's so dumb. Hey, buddy, watch this. Like, if I get a good early start and can do some crazy stuff with George, I think we'll dominate. In particular, what, what might be really exciting uh, for George? Demons, elementals. I forgot to look what we have. Uh, I guess Murlocs always are the historical George option. Okay. Yeah, we got a few of those. Murlocs, I think, are a little harder to work with for George. I feel like the poison Murloc guy at tier 5 is, is like, more awkward than Toxfin. It, it almost feels like they made Murlocs notably worse to me. I, I don't know if you guys feel that way or not. A little slower or something? I mean, they got the new 2-drop, which is pretty cool, I guess. The salt scale honcho. It's pretty consistent on 2. Yeah, tier 2 is pretty good for Murlocs, isn't it? Yeah. And tier 3 has always been good for Murlocs. And it got better, too. Okay, I guess the early game got way stronger. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. The late game kind of got more awkward, but the early game got nuts. This guy, the, the Seffin seems tough to use, though. I don't understand the six-star dude that Golden's a Murloc. Yeah, I didn't eat it at first, but that's because I didn't realize you could make a Murloc in a shop Golden. So basically, you get a free reroll on another... Tier 6, presumably, if you're at Tier 5 when you find this guy. If there's a Murloc in the shop, you can make it golden. You can get its buff or whatever if you want. And then also get another... When you buy it and play it, you'll get another chance at a Tier 6. Because you just played a golden minion, right? So it's kind of like a reroll. Plus, just some interesting applications. Like, uh, you can make an Amalgadon in the shop golden. So it does twice as much buffing. Or, you know, same for any, any unit, really. Uh, also, you can actually make your own Amalgadon golden... This is kind of a weird side synergy, but uh, if you make your own Amalgadon Golden on your own board, then you can buy another Amalgadon. Sometimes if you buy that third Amalgadon, right? It, they all fuse together and you don't get that next Amalgadon. You might lose two Divine Shields fusing them into one. You could actually make the one in the shop if there is one, if there's not one, in anticipation of finding one later, you could make your own, on your own side of the board, golden, to prevent the fusing of the third Amalgadon. Presumably, you'd hope to use it on the one in the shop, but if you have a board lockout or something, you need to do it in a pinch, you could use it on your own. Looking good here. A lot of people get triggered by the selling of the token and not the uh, generator, which I, I guess is a tale as old as time. <laughs> this discussion a lot, but for me, it, it's about board lockouts. You need to go high tempo and... Uh, also, just uh, better units on board for fights. Marginal difference sometimes, but perhaps noteworthy. Uh, <laughs> I really don't want to be a selfless hero gamer as George, but at the same time, these are the two best units uh, moving forward. Why would you keep the token? Some people argue that you should keep the token because you can triple it twice when you find a fourth tide hunter right like if if you have space for three tokens uh you can triple the tokens and then you can also still find the triple for the the generator but in my experience that's like never happens it's so hard all right uh whatever i don't know we're, we're divine shield guy <laughs> it's just who we are now <laughs> we are divine shield guys I, I mean these aren't even good for our current units but whatever it, it, you know we're setting up for the future. I'm not going to lock the uh, the bot, the, the pup. I think we can do better. Okay. Uh, so actually, we're going to... Yeah, we're going to... We're going to take the fight. Oh, actually, we're going to tie because of attack orders. Crap. <laughs> shoot that's fine i'll take the tie given our weird synergies here <gasps> isn't george worse now because the sniper dragon definitely yeah better than in the old days uh because we got rid of uh yeah we just take the highest quality unit right we got rid of uh what was his name nefarian who had the uh crazy uh Ping effect or whatever, whirlwind. Oh, also George now has uh, Avenging Dude too. Unstable Ghoul. I don't know why I called him Avenging Dude. <laughs> Unstable Ghoul made George a lot worse too back in the day. 
Yeah, George used to be almost undefeatable in the in game, but a couple counters more more readily available for George now. His HP did used to cost four. That's true, but in the in game you didn't care because it was just indefeatable. There was no Nefari, and he was like just you always won, always, literally, but usually. Back in the old days. Hey, Jonifer and Noah. Wow, two big subs. Thank you, Jonifer and Noah. A lot of new fresh subs rolling in today, guys. Thank you. Out of nowhere. Ah, uh, no good hits today, man. No good hits all day today, I swear. Nothing. That's going to hit the 1-1. One, one. Hey, nice. A good hit. We still lose, though, right? This guy's a problem, I think. Yeah, man. No good hits today. We still had a chance to tie at the end of that 2-4 hit the 2-2. Two, two. Oh man, the one one needed to hit the other guy over here. No good hits today. Is this what it's like to watch Crip? He's just constantly complaining about rolls. <laughs> uh, tier 5 looks like it's got some plays. Bran, Seffen, of course always Light Fang, I think. We have a pretty decent Light Fang set up. He lost by 6. I could wait a turn right now, sell a Murloc, and still use my button. We also might just be able to go for six. I mean, do I want to lose this value? Like, do I even really need to button here? Do I button a Murloc? Do I button that beast? Button Murloc feels a little better because I can poison it. But it's worse for the tempo right now. I don't really know. All great questions. Next turn, am I going to go for the tier six? Bellbat's pretty good. Thinking about build arounds. Calic, we could probably still find a Calic pivot. I don't think there's any good mech or. I don't know. Tier six has basically Felbat and Calic ghosts. Goldrin, I feel like, would still be kind of hard to, to move into. He got stronger than I expected. He got strong this round, I think. Still not too bad, though. I need two gold if I want to go for tier six. I'm really hesitating the tier six push, though. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for tier 5 because I like both Bran and Seffen. Yeah, I just don't feel like 6 has the build arounds I need, right? Plus, of course, this just makes me hyper-efficient this turn as opposed to really inefficient with my resources. I don't know if hyper-efficient the word, but more efficient. I don't like these! I don't like these at all! Oh. I guess I'm a dragon gamer. I don't know, man. I just, these are just not build arounds at all, right? They're all kind of, I mean, this is just really hard to use right now. An island is not terrible, but I just don't know how to build into it at the moment. I can taunt and buff, but that's that's too low tempo. I think I need a higher quality play. It's a great time to hire minions. Oh, here we go. That's pretty good. Yeah, we're going to look for the tier two girl. Yeah, I did this off stream yesterday. It was so much fun. The tier two girl scaling buffs like crazy on Razorgore is definitely shenanigan worthy. All right. This is actually a pretty good dragon for us with our hero power, right? Kind of an atypically good. Oh, man. It was like almost. No, not guaranteed. Pretty likely to hit a Razorgore, though. Not that it seems to matter. Okay, looking good, looking good. Pretty big damage output, actually. Not bad. Double dig. So, boy, that's fun. Okay. We like dragons. I don't know, this isn't really... Eh, it's, I'm just going to roll. I, that's not good enough to... to Stress about rolling down on. Oh! Okay. Now. Now we're cruising.
I think I'm just ditching everything and buying as many dragons as I can to start scaling the Razor Gore, right? Next turn, we'll catch up on buffs. This guy's good too, though. Shoot, why didn't I buy him? Oh, God. I should have bought this guy. What am I? I didn't even see him. My brain literally ignored him. But I have divine shields. I gotta, gotta freeze him. I literally just ignored him. I'm not gonna just 100% zone that dude out of my brain. Um, I guess we'll ditch the Glyph Guardian. So, uh, I did actually lose a little bit of a buff here. Because I, well, actually, am I gonna ditch the Selfless Hero? That's a question to ask because I, I obviously have my hero power now. I don't really need the Selfless Hero long term. I, I think it's definitely good, good short term for tempo. But, uh,. I don't need it long term. Oh yeah, the tier two girl, after a friendly dragon gains attack, give it plus two health. So we're buffing attacks and then gaining a bunch of health off of those, off of those buffs. Is it already time to ditch this to really start help the scaling on the promo drakes? I don't know, I need Tarek Gosa too. Let's just see what we roll into. Maybe make some good decisions. Uh, this is only permanent if it happens in tavern, as is all buffs, right? If it happens in combat, it's not permanent. But it's still, like, mega buffs this even extra off of the promo drakes. Now, this, though, buffing stuff does get a permanent buff, because it happens in the tavern. Pretty good. I think I'm going to ditch this for now. I mean, I, I, it practically pays for itself immediately, right? Immediately. <sighs> this guy actually scales pretty darn well with uh divine shield right so let's go ahead and pump him up a little i think it looks okay right <laughs> it's already up to 61 i love it okay <laughs> Yeah, 93%. I'll take that. What's our next Divine Shield target? Probably the Enforcer. I mean, I think that's definitely sticking around because it's going to start scaling better and better with our Divine Shields. So. Ooh, Poison. Don't don't give him that. Kill that. Can we kill him here, actually? Oh, maybe not with that hit. Nope. Not nearly enough. Only 12. Oh, we had a 0% for lethal. Okay. Oh, I think we go Terracosa over Cobalt, right? Because she's going to start gaining permanent buffs off these promo drakes. I could actually just go tier 5 here as well. I feel like we're hanging on pretty well. Let's see. Oh, was there still the 50 damage cap last turn? Okay, that explains it too. All righty. She's actually going to get pretty big pretty quickly. I think I'm going to buff her for now. Do we keep the Glyph Guardian for the double here? I think I'm more interested in spending gold to triple all of these minions here. I think the Glyph Guardian is the least important. Could do this, maybe, since it has Divine Shield. Otherwise, I'm putting this here to keep these getting buffed the right way. You definitely want this going first, but yeah, I guess this is fine. Grease bot? Uh, yeah, I mean, if we get space for a grease bot, sure. Yeah, the divine shield buffs would, would be awesome. I don't know. I'd have to think about spacing. We might need to triple the promo drake or something. Oh, I should have switched these. Oh, shoot. There's really no reason for the smaller one to be first. May not matter. May matter. Never know. Depending on taunts, but... Okay, oh, they got a golden one, but no Razor Gore for the crazy scaling. Okay, that's a great hit. Not a lethal, but still a great high damage hit on a necessary target. <clears throat> I need a Murazond. They have some great stuff. Murazond would go a mile here. Are they dead? They're dead if Tarek lives, maybe? Ah. Maybe that was guaranteed. I think she was forced to trade, right? Okay. Oh, still dead. Oh my god, yes! Tier 5, you're amazing. Thank you, Tier 5. Cool, cool. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Do I even need a Calicos at this point? I have to ask. <laughs> like, I guess so, but it's not, like, mandatory. Uh... This actually could be good on a Malgadon later. So I think I'll I think I'll take this, but not yet. <gasps> oh, I think I have to buy this and forego a uh, divine shield, right? Oh man, I guess I just use this guy and buy it and forego a divine shield. I mean, I can save that and buy it next turn for a triple too, I guess. But I want to start scaling this Razor Gore ASAP, don't I? I mean, and I think I ditched this. I don't think I need it anymore. I think I scale better off everything else. I don't know. This might be too greedy. Uh, maybe I'm playing too hard into the Razor Gores now. I don't know. I mean, they get so big so fast. And if I can triple them, obviously... Watching that tick up is so insane. I need to kill this guy right now. I can't, but he's gonna get too much poisonous otherwise. Shoot, I need to kill the Seffen immediately. Stop. Kill the Seffen. Snipe it. Snipe the Seffen. Snipe it. No, oh, he's getting too much poisonous. I mean, I do have Divine Shield, so I will, at some extent, beat this eventually, right? But still, uh,. A little scary. Kind of wish I could have killed him there. Maybe he'll die. He's really not that strong. Oh, he's fighting a ghost, though. I don't know. That seems sort of unlikely, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, this is a free tier 6 roll, right? I mean, do I sell a Whelp Smuggler for it? I think I just try to triple the Whelp Smuggler like a god. <laughs> I think that's the play. <laughs> Murazon was good before, but not any good this time around. It's like, I, I don't really know if I want to give these up yet, though, is the weird thing. Like, I, I don't really need to. I, Divine Shielding, this feels pretty weird, by the way, because it's not really scaling all that well. I think we Divine Shield the Razor Gore, but that's bad if I triple, right? I really do wish that I was scaling some of these smaller minions better. Like a, a Calic type scaling, right? Pick a minion to lead you to victory. <sighs> yeah, I don't, I don't love where we're at right now. We're kind of in this weird... We're kind of in this weird like middle space where I'm not actually doing a lot. I mean, I'm scaling these really well, which is cool, but I really need that last board space, I think. To be exciting. There. You never triple Razor Gore? You think so? Oh, I guess, does it lose the, the kind of upside on these double buffs? I wouldn't say never triple Razor Gore. <laughs> I feel like there are reasons to triple Razor Gore. I don't know. <laughs> might be Might be wrong, but... <laughs> That Divine Shield Poisonous guy is brutal. I don't like... Oh, God! It actually hit... Am I going to lose this? It actually hit the insane target. And it's still hanging around. Oh, my God. I have a 95% to win. I feel like it's too close. Like, this 14 does do well, but if it gets hit by the... Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Oh my god. Too close, dude. <laughs> Too close. I really just want to triple this. Do we, t <laughs> we don't do we take a ghoul? It's not insane because they're beasts, so they can't get a Nadina, while I can get a Nadina. So I, I could potentially take this and play for a Nadina refresh on my Divine Shields while they don't get one, right? <laughs> I, I I just don't know if it's, you know, it might be too early because we have a couple fights between then and now. I, I'm hoping I can find another one by then and spend my gold now to, to scale these out or find triples like this, of course. Or both. Potentially both. Potentially both. Yeah, the, the good old George Mirror. Oh, okay. It's pretty sick. 
That also just gets me an extra dragon in, which makes this buff better. Like, I actually scale better off Razor Gores and Terracosas and promos now. Because two board slots are currently occupied by whelp smugglers, right? Alrighty. They're so big. It's so stupid. Oh, man. It's so dumb. Oh, Nadina. That makes Murzon maybe intriguing. Pretty good positioning here to hit the small taunt. That's nice. Oh, they didn't even pop their thing. That's hilarious. Sorry, Nadina. Oh, we'll do it for you. Don't worry. Not that any of this matters, but... I'm a little worried this attack's kind of low, right? If we saw... I mean, I guess their attack's not scaling very well, though. They're definitely kind of committed to their board and their Divine Shields. If they want to pivot out of that beast, they're going to need way more Poisonous or some kind of crazy scaling they don't currently have. So that might be good news for us. Okay, so let's go here. Let's play this one for, oh, actually I might get an Amalgadon, but then I won't have board space. So I should always play this one first. See what we get. Um, I mean, I don't think these matter at all, right? I mean, this is actually maybe okay on its own if I need like in a pinch, you know, a dude, I guess. Doesn't actually seem very good though. Kalik is definitely better. You see a grease spot? I think you see a Meccano tank. You're thinking is a grease spot, maybe? <laughs> I don't want to be the bearer of bad news here. Uh, I don't... Do I take a Kalik? I can definitely ditch the Glyph Guardian and go Kalik plus Terragosa, I guess. That's pretty nuts, yeah. That's pretty nuts. Oh, but I don't have any board space. Is that nuts? I have to ditch this to do that. Oh god, I don't know if that is nuts. I don't know, maybe this isn't really that nuts. I, I mean, this is a fine board place to end on. I don't think there's anything wrong with this, but I gotta decide if I think the Calic is better than this, which I, I just... Currently it's not. Oh my god, too much poison! Oh, man, nothing's dying either of these hits. Ugh. No, I need the Divine Shields to hit the poisons. Oh, God. Actually, not bad so far. Uh, okay. Die, please. No, don't value trade me, bro. No! I, uh, oh, hit left! Okay. We tie. Ah, uh, this poison, dude. <laughs> Stop with the poisons. I think this is losing its value, right? Like we have enough health. We don't really value health that much. I actually need to attack now, right? So I, in other words, I think the Calyx scales better because I need to be able to kill those Murlocs in one shot as opposed to gaining a bunch more health because they have poisonous anyway, right? So it doesn't matter how much health I have. I need attack. So I think we ditch this, right? Does this make sense to you guys? Just start scaling off the attack. Nadina also is totally dandy if we can grab a Nadina. I don't think I need Nadina for this fight, so I'm going to hold here and just scale. I think we want to scale right now. Can also triple a Terracosa, although I don't know if that's actually any good. Actually, I don't know. I'm not finding any battle cries. I think I might just go. Screw it. Screw it. I don't know. Here we are. Okay. I, I still am not scaling enough attack, I'm worried, man. I mean, these are getting really fat, honestly. I, I don't guess I can triple these Terracosas anymore, can I? There's no need to. They have Divine Shield, so there's no point. I think now I just roll for Nadina. And if I don't hit Nadina, I just hit the Deadly Spore, right? Please hit a shield, little guy. Please. Nice, thank you. Probably the worst shield, but take it it's fine man my shields got cleaned out way too easily am i dead here like did the shield screw me oh my god don't okay hit left. okay nice oh nice Woo! barely dang the poison tech in this battle has been crazy 
All right, so the George Mirror match was won. Now we got Div we got Murloc Idiot here. Good old Murloc Idiot. Do I go for scaling or Nadina? Well, let's think, right? We see 56, 45, 27, 49, and 36. So a lot of these are big enough to secure lethals on minions. And these are going to get bigger. I think I, I mean, I can, I can look for a Nadina and maybe just gain four or five additional attack on some of these. Might be enough, but finish on this guy. And I think we're good. All right, let's, uh, so in other words, we kind of take what we've got for a bit. And, uh, roll through the battle cries that make sense, right? If we find the Nadina, that's great. But if not, we finish here. And if this goes well, it should be a lethal. This is fine to put first, I think. Make sure it goes off and stuff. These have to be kind of where they are. Put this one first to make sure it secures that taunt lethal on those two big murlocs, right? Oh, yes. Perfectly executed, sir. I'll take it. That's fine. Hit that 59. Yes. Let's go, dude. Beautiful. Excellent work, sir. Nice. Vanished Felbat. Sorry, dude. You don't get played. <laughs> Sorry, dude. You're out of here. Dude, that scaling off the two drop is so busted. Wow. Step aside. Be merged. 